Okay, let's start uh, with an example here. Uh, we have a firm that um, has a networking capital here of $560, uh, long-term debt of $2,000, total assets of uh, $11,060, and fixed assets of $3,420. Uh, so we have a little bit of the information from the firm's balance sheet. Uh, we want to use what we know about uh, the accounting measures for the firm to figure out what the firm's total liabilities are and what the firm's owner's equities are, right? So we know the asset side of the balance sheet. We want to figure out the liabilities and owner equity side of the balance sheet. And to figure that out, we need to build ourselves a really simple, uh, very small um, a version of the balance sheet and then use the uh, several identities that we know um, to, uh, to help us determine what's missing. So we're gonna need to know two things. The first is we need to recall the formula for networking capital, which says that networking capital is equal to current assets minus current liabilities. The second thing we wanna know or remember is the balance sheet identity, which requires that total assets, the left-hand side of the balance sheet, equal total liabilities plus owner's equity, which is the right-hand side of the balance sheet. So then we need to build ourselves a really simple balance sheet. So we're just gonna build a simple balance sheet with assets on one side and liabilities and owner's equity on the other. Right? So assets, total assets right, is equal to current assets and fixed assets. But what we're given in the problem is total and fixed. So we can work our way down, right? Flip the, the balance sheet sort of on its head. We'll start with total assets. That's 11,060. And then total assets are made up of fixed and current assets. If I know fixed assets to be 3420, I can subtract the amount of fixed assets from the amount of total assets to get the implied current assets, which is 7,640. That's one side of the balance sheet. The other side is liabilities and owner's equity, where we know that total liabilities here is equal to current liabilities and long-term debt, right? So current liabilities and long-term liabilities. Now, we're not given current liabilities, but we are given long-term debt to be 2,000. So those two things should give us total liabilities, and that's the answer to part one here. To figure out current liabilities, we need to use the utilize the formula for networking capital that we have here. We know that networking capital is equal to current assets minus current liabilities. And we're given networking capital in the problem to be 560, and we just solved for current assets here to be 7640. That gives us one equation with one unknown, so a little bit of rearranging and our algebra can solve for current liabilities. We do a little rearranging here. 7640 minus 560 should give us current liabilities and that should give us current liabilities of, of 7,080. Now I can come over here, complete part of my right-hand side of my balance sheet. I add current liabilities of 7,080 to long-term debt of 2,000 to get total liabilities of 9,080. All that's left is my owner's equity for the firm. Owner's equity for the firm has to be equal to my total assets minus my total liabilities because total liabilities and owner's equity has to add up. That's my balance sheet identity right here. So again, I just need to uh, walk through the balance sheet identity and do some rearranging. So total assets has to be equal to total liabilities plus owner's equity. And I know both two of these things, total assets is 11,060 and total liabilities we just calculated to be 9,080. So again, some rearranging, and I get 11,060 minus 9,080 equals owner's equity, and that gives me 1980 to be my owner's equity. So this is the kind of problem that you should expect. Um, in other words, I 
want you to know uh, and remember these formulas, these accounting formulas and identities, but don't expect that I'm gonna give you, uh, say, total assets and total liabilities and ask you for owner's equity. I know you can do simple math. Uh, I want you to be able to uh, incorporate this into the uh, accounting statements in a way that's going to be useful for us later in the class.